Hi guys, I'm Mandy Moore and welcome to my home. Who the hell is Mandy Moore? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Desmond Kill, owner of Hypo Limestone. I've been in the stone business for over 30 years. In this series, we'll look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of celebrity homes. First up, we've got Kendall Jenner. This, though, is this massive stone sink. I mean, it's a powder room, but the sink is huge. It's, it's like a kitchen sink in a powder room, which makes no sense. It looks like an attempt to blend a country French rustic split limestone sink with a Venetian plaster wall. The front is the raw exterior of the block. So the front of the sink is just like the front of this sample here. It has that really natural raw split finish of the, on, on the front side. It's not a sink that would make sense in a powder room because you break your back trying to wash your hands. It's out of scale. I don't think it goes with the, the Venetian plaster. It's certainly California. It's not the aesthetic you would ever see in Palm Beach. You know, depending on the pedigree of the block, if it's French or if it's Jerusalem stone or Egyptian, that's going to make a big difference because of the country and the labor costs. You probably could pay ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, maybe more if it's French. This is most definitely the most used room in the house. I think I saw a photo of dark forest green cabinets with a really nice marble. You know, it's dated. Uh, this is dated to about, you know, 1999 through 2004. When we're remodeling right now, we're tearing out kitchens like this. It's so probably rented a house in, in Provence somewhere and uh, fell in love with that look. I'm sure that's what happened there, but it's about 20 years outdated. Nicole Scherzingel, who's that? Uh, the Pussycat Dolls. The lead singer of the Pussycats. <laughs> oh, right. I am Nicole Scherzinger, and welcome to my house. Schinzinger? Scherzinger. Scherzinger. I'm very particular about marbles. This is a particular Calcutta. It kind of looked like a hummingbird. This one is more minimal. Uh, veneer cabinets, again, you have Calicata Gold. It's like super popular. She went with a kind of a taupey contrasting tone on the upper island. So it's modern, it's minimal, very classical. I pretty much live in here. It's my marble steam shower. I love, love, love steam showers. She's talking about how much she likes her steam shower. Some people love them, some people hate them. The ceiling has to actually be sloped because in a steam shower, if the ceiling is flat, you're gonna have coal drops coming down on you. We can't stop that water from condensing, but when it does condense, we want it to roll to the wall and then run down. We don't want it to drop. People don't realize how much stone it takes to do four walls, the floor, and the ceiling. Showers like this can be a lot. Seven, eight, nine slabs just to do the shower. And then you have probably a custom bench, custom footrest, probably a linear drain. This shower is probably 100,000 for stone. Okay, what's the next one? Hi guys, I'm Mandy Moore and welcome to my home. Who the hell is Mandy Moore? <laughs> no idea. This was a very important room. I mean, this is what's popular. This is what is going into 90% of our projects. White kitchens are been the rage now for like the last 15 years, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it'll come to an end sooner or later. You know, when you get into white Italian, calacata and statuary, the slabs can range from 6,000 to $12,000 per slab. If a kitchen needs five or six slabs, right off the bat, you're over 50 grand just for material. And then you have the fabrication and the installation. So you could spend 200, 300,000. See, the best houses never get published. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. One more time. If you enjoy this video, click the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoy this video, click the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Perfect. All right, that's a wrap.